Are they there? Yes. Okay. Let's see if we can get some better light here. There we go. Should I pull the choke out? Is it right here fine? It's fine. Mm -hmm. It's pretty dark now. Yeah, I got it pretty dark. I just played with it. Is that your starting for it? Yeah, I'll go grab some gas and stuff, just like that. Ready? Alright, go ahead. Try it again. Oh, I got to put some gas in the carburetor. Or could I just take out my spark plug and pour a little bit in there? Yeah, that's probably the best, best way. Alright. I had it off earlier. So what are you going to do? I'm going to take out my spark plug and pour a little bit of gas in there so it'll hopefully spread it up. And let's draw what? more gas through the carburetor. Why do you think there's no gas in the carburetor? Because it's been sitting for a long time and uh, it all had evaporated out and I just replaced the gas lines. There's a little bit in uh Well, and you filter. cleaned the carburetor too, didn't you? Yeah, yeah I did. So when you cleaned it, there was... Not there was much. none in there. Yeah. Alright, yeah. I'm gonna go grab the gas can. Isn't there any in that right there? No. Isn't there just a little bit? You don't need much. I don't If you can get some to pour in there. There's Anything? Oh, yeah. There, that'll work. Oh, well, it takes just a little bit. Some dripping on the bottom of the carburetor. What's that right there, Dad? Is that supposed to be like that? Mm. <laughs> it looks like your Knuton valve's leaking a little bit. <laughs> what is that? It's just gas coming out. It went down through the valves and down into the carburetor and out the bottom. Thing this thing ran. Oh, it stinks a little bit. It's been about 15 years since this thing ran. Yeah, you gotta get more gas. So you just need to get gas to it. Alright. So, is the gas tank full? Uh, it could be topped off. Yeah, there's just, it was just running off the stuff I poured in there. There's only a little bit in here, so maybe yeah. if I or if I top this off, then it'll have enough it'll have enough force to gravity feed it up through then the carburetor help, can help start. push it up in there. Yeah. Yeah. All right, good. I'll be right back. I'm gonna go grab the gas cans. Right here again. All right. So we topped pull it gas. off. Should I turn the truck on or pull the throttle off a little bit? Throttle. Try. I don't. Yeah. Try both. 
the fires and turn your choke off. Try again. Choke it. The starter's slipping on the belt. Let's not get gas. Let's let's try pouring a little bit. I don't want to pour too much. That's probably good. Okay. When you are taking out your spark plug and putting it back in. Make sure not to tighten it too much. Just snug it up. It's on there, cooking. There we go. Watch him throttle up a little bit. Keep the throttle up. Go ahead and leave it choked if it's going to run. Okay. I think I need to Is pull. it choked? Yeah, it's choked. Well, unchoke it then. Mm -hmm. Do the opposite, whatever it is. Choke it. Alright, I'll just put throttle up a little bit. Just keep going. Yes. Not much gas in that, that filter. I know. It's not opened up enough to let the gas out of the gas tank to off. there. Now it's starting to flow. Not a lot, but it's flowing steady. Yeah. Okay, let's try it like that. The other thing, you don't have any clamps on that. On this? On either side. There wasn't any. There was just some up here and some on the carburetor. And those are the ones I put back. Should I put some okay. on there? I don't think it's drawn air, but go ahead and try to fire it up. All right.
There was nothing on the bottom. That shouldn't be leaking out. What's in that hole right there? Is there a plug? I don't. I don't know. I don't know. I, all I took apart was this, and I took the boot off. Okay, you, you didn't touch that. No. Do you have a flashlight? Yeah, I can't see. Yeah, I'm gonna use my phone. It's like it's a filter. Well, maybe I should drain my gas tank and then uh, take that valve apart and see what. If it's oh, look at it. There's a bunch of crud in the bottom of that. See that hole? Yeah. It's full of stuff. Here, wait, can you show me? We're not getting enough gas. So, you can take right. your little tiny needle in those pliers and see if you What's can. What's happening right now is we're not getting enough gas because it'll run if we pour gas down the air filter into the carburetor. But. This, we look in at the bottom of the tank, there's crud in there. We think that in this valve, above that was a screen and it just rusted. And now it's not allowing enough gas through. So we're going to drain the tank, which I'm doing right now. And then I'm going to take well, this valve out and then clean it out. And it's taking forever. Well, we're getting there. Not really. Okay, so, um, I took this off and I cleaned it. There was a bunch of gunk and there was like this mesh in there that was falling apart. So I took it out and I took this bottom piece out and cleaned it out and blew it all out and cleaned it up good and put it back together. And, um, now I'm going to reconnect the lines and roll over and see some more gas in it draining it took forever since it was all clogged up in there um there it was going really slow but yeah now it's nice and clean the valves open so she'll get plenty of gas so i'm gonna put it back together Now I'm gonna throw some gas in it and see if it'll roll over. Or if it'll fire. We know it's gonna roll over. slipping on the belt. I need to tighten it a little bit. I don't know. 
try it again. Oh, forgot. Put our gas cap on. Turn up my throttle a little bit. Come on. enough gas because that's filled up that's the air bubble now so uh we definitely fixed our gas issue but now we're this is slipping on here we might need to clean up our pulley but um i'm gonna take off take out my spark plug okay we'll give her a go the gas that I pour in there but it it won't suck any so I think I don't know it's not getting enough gas I was messing around with some starting fluid and I was rolling over spraying it and it's running let's see if it'll fire it up again for me good um it's a little bit of smoke there uh, I'm gonna put back together my air filter and then we also oh, why is that leaking right there it's leaking a little bit I'm not sure figure that out but I want to take it for a test drive real quick and see if it'll actually drive now so I'm gonna put the air filter back on and then put my hood back on But it won't close now. It's supposed to fold in. Hmm. Get back with you guys when I figure out. So, this bolt was too tight and I was pinching it. But um, I got it now to where. It's tight so it's not wobbling too much and I can still close it. So now, 
go take it out for a test drive and also see if the PTO works for the mower deck. So now I just gotta take down my table. Pretty good job. It's running, yeah. running good. Smokes a little bit. So in the next video, we want to. Oh dang it! Where did I set it? I thought I set it here. Did you see the rain cap? Oh, you got to put those battery brackets on too. Yeah, I know. Yeah, you better do that because otherwise battery will slide around. Okay. You don't want that. All right, well, up. we got a rain cap. Uh, we're going to we're gonna put an elbow pipe on it. Stack. Stack. Let's go up. And then we're going to have a rain cap. We're going to put the rain cap on it. And it will be less loud and it will look cool. But thank you for watching. Leave a like. See you in the next one.